everyone welcome to my youtube channel i am martina now this video is for any thin slim lady that has tried everything possible and nothing worked for her the main secret to my weight gain might not be something everyone can afford Take note, it's not money, it's not something that you have to buy. In this video, I will share the significant tips that have worked for me. So, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you have not, and let us begin. All my life, I had always been underweight. I was that skinny kid in school that struggled to gain weight. I was insulted, I was called nicknames because of my weight. And honestly, for a kid, that was very brutal and it affected me so my response was food i decided to start overeating but after overeating for so long i finally accepted that this was my nature and it was not in my gene for me to actually get f or add weight i realized that there was nothing i could do about it so i had to just start appreciating my body for keeping me alive for sustaining me i had to start loving my body the way it was I started to dress according to my body type. I started to follow people on Instagram that had a similar body type as I did so that I would love my body, appreciate it and see the beauty of it. I'm going to insert some pictures of what I looked like for most of my teenage years and even part of university. So this is what I used to look like. When I was 18, I was already living in China for school. When I went to China, I was weighing about 45 to 48 kg. But in China, I had a lot more freedom. I had the liberty to choose what to eat, when to eat, how to eat. Although at this time, I was no longer focused on gaining weight, just enjoying my life and living in the moment. I don't have a sweet tooth. So I'm not so interested in sugary snacks or junk food, I'm more of a cooked meal type of girl. So I was really enjoying myself in China and eating everything that I could and everything that I enjoyed. And honestly, I started to gain weight. I was able to afford whatever I wanted to eat and I had the liberty to eat what I wanted. And this helped me. I remember there was a random day I was in the hospital for class and I saw a scale and I climbed it. And the weight I saw, I really thought that scale was broken. I had not checked my weight for almost three years at this point. And when I climbed the scale, I was weighing 58 kg. I was shocked but I was very happy that I had gained weight and I was not as skinny as I used to be although I didn't notice it because I couldn't care less at that moment but I was so happy to see that I had gained weight and not just any weight almost 10 kg that was so good for the remaining three years during my time in China I was able to add more weight and subsequently I got to 67 kg that was my highest weight at that time in my life I was fluctuating between 63 to 67 kg. I finished medical school and I came back to Nigeria. I was still within that range. In 2022, I started my first year as a doctor. It was very stressful, draining, it took a lot from me. I was no longer taking care of myself, I was not eating. Most times I eat only once a day, I began to lose weight. I was greatly overworked. The weight that took me 6 years to gain, I lost it in about 4 months. During that year, I went back to 49 kg. As a 25 year old, weighing 49 kg, coming from 67 kg, I was so unhealthy. At a point, I started to try eating again, but I could not gain weight anymore. No matter how hard I tried to eat, I was not gaining weight. When my intern year as a doctor was over, I was not in a rush to go back into practicing medicine. I knew I needed to take time for myself, to gain some weight, to be healthy, to get myself back. And so, I started Operation Gain Weight. I can tell you that in 5 months, I was 78 kg. This is my current weight and this is my all-time highest weight. 
before i share what exactly i did to gain weight it's very important i educate you on weight and particularly healthy weight as doctors we use body max index bmi as a screening tool that measures the ratio of your height to your weight to categorize you into underweight healthy weight overweight obese and extremely obese so this can help us access your risk of developing certain diseases the formula to calculate your bmi is your weight in kg divided by your height in meter square or just go to google and type bmi calculator there are a number of them there that will help you calculate your bmi according to the who these are the values and the interpretations of your bmi here on the screen most people are concerned about losing weight and the dangers of obesity but there are also certain risks associated with being underweight so regardless of what your body goal is it's important that your ideal weight should fall under the healthy weight according to your bmi now let me tell you what i did to gain so much weight 59 69 70. you guys that's that's almost 30 kg i'm just realizing i never calculated how much i actually gained that's almost 30 kg in a couple of months wow so let's get into it number one i did not do it on my own i'm not going to come here and tell you guys oh i did it all on my own that is not true i had my partner that helped me with operation gain weight it's very important to have someone that is disciplined, diligent, consistent to help you keep track because there will be times that you will just be tired of the whole routine. But if you have someone always checking up on you and keeping you accountable, this is really going to help. So we were in it together. He ensured I always ate. He started calling me and then started sending me food, cooking for me, buying food for me. Whenever we go out, he ensures that I eat whatever I want and I eat it to my fullest. So laziness to cook or buy food was not an excuse for me. You don't have to be in a relationship with your partner. So it can be your friend, your brother, your family member, just anyone that is willing to help you throughout your weight gain process. Number two, I started eating more frequently and heavier meals. You cannot be trying to gain weight and you keep eating only small portions once or twice a day. You're trying to gain weight, not maintain weight. You must eat and you must eat well. I didn't have any issues with my appetite, so I was able to eat whatever I wanted. But if you have issues with your appetite, I think you should see a doctor so they can prescribe something for you that can help with your appetite. So usually when I wake up in the morning, I'll have fresh fruits. I'll have a bowl of yogurt with apples and eat that together. On some days, I'll have apples and tangerine. So this was my pre-breakfast. And after this, I go ahead to have my breakfast and then I have lunch. And then I also have snacks. So I was eating lots of plantain chips and chin chin. And then I go ahead to have dinner. So this is about five times a day. That was how much I was eating. And I was very faithful and committed to this. The next thing that helped me is peace of mind. This is the absence of any mental or emotional stress. Nobody was stressing me, I had no emotional stress, nothing was keeping me up at night thinking and worrying. By the grace of God, I was at peace. So if you are in a toxic relationship, you have financial issues, you have family issues, you have so much that is bothering you and weighing you down, these things may affect your weight gain journey. Now time for the biggest secret. Now this thing is something that in all of my life's journey of trying to add weight, I had never done this one before. So this was the game changer for me. And this was inactivity. Like I said, a lot of you may not be able to afford it, but this was the game changer. At this point, I was no longer working. I was taking a break from work. I had nothing stressing me. I would only wake up, shower, eat, sleep. These were my responsibilities. I rarely went out, no vigorous exercise, just taking small walks, 
during the day and outside that i was always in bed or i was sitting down this meant that i was not actively burning any calories this was something i couldn't afford to do when i was a teenager or when i was in medical school but now i was able to do it because i was taking a break from work and that's how i have ended up here 78 kg all the clothes i bought last year none of them fit me right now but it's just clothes clothes can be replaced for the sake of my health i am not planning on adding any more weight because my bmi now is 24.6 and anything higher than 25 is overweight so i am currently healthy so now i'm focusing on being healthy exercising portion control eating healthy meals and so much more this is my story and I hope it helps any of you struggling to gain weight. Regardless, you have to be patient with your body and love it at whatever stage it is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Or if you have any questions, leave it down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with anyone that you think it is going to help. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.